Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Northy and today we are going to use the cards to look into a much requested reading. Now for a while we know that there has been negative intent sent towards the royal family, particularly Catherine and William. But with Scooby's book this week, I want to look into that and see if this is indeed part of some magical working, part of a series of events that were meant to really damage the monarchy and if it's tied in to a curse. So we're going to start off looking at King Charles and then we're going to move through and look at Catherine, Princess of Wales and see what we can find if there's any energetic attachments to Scooby's book. After all, they don't call it spelling for no reason if you know what I mean. Um, I've also given away, when I hit 8,000 subscribers, a Johnny Thompson prayer candle, and of course, Queen Elizabeth Bauble as well. And we've got another type of Queen Elizabeth Bauble. You can get a range of different Queen Elizabeth Baubles. So I've got one of each um, to give away when I hit 8,000 subscribers. I'll let you know. You, all you have to do is be in a live stream and be subscribed. That's it and we pick a winner th that way. So, okay, let's get on to the real questions here. The book Endgame, dirty game, Harry called it, it's a dirty game. I'm fairly sure that was either with Netflix or Spare and Endgame. It's a game. They are trying to outdo the royal family. We know that it's obvious. Everyone can see it. Everyone can see it. What we need to do now is we need to look at the cards and see if there is any energetic charge attached to Scooby's book. Any magical workings attached to Scooby's book aimed at King Charles. So that's how we're going to start and then we're going to move on to Catherine. Jealousy is a funny thing, you know. The thing is, I think Harry and Megsy have done energy workings. They do. Harry is more involved in it than Megsy. Believe that. The reason I say they're not particularly adept at it is because they... Their life seems to get worse and worse and worse while everybody else is, is thriving. Absolutely thriving. Until this week and these attacks came. Now, calling somebody racist is one of the worst things you can call a person. Calling somebody a pdf file for instance that has of course that has connotations that that legal connotations but racist we're not at the stage yet quite with the united kingdom where we can get arrested for a thought crime we're getting there <laughs> but let's have a look at megsy let's have a look at King Charles, sorry, I said Megsy. I think they're doing Santeria or some, some things to do with that. I think they're not fully aware of what they're doing, to be honest. But they're building up such a charge that it's going to backfire on them spectacularly. It's going to, there's something coming that's going to make the New York City car chase look mild. And that's not me wishing ill on you, that's on, ill on them. It's just my, what I'm picking up as a clairvoyant, as a reader, as a medium. Where are we going with? Oh, yes, we have the full. The fool is in reverse. There is a massive risk to the energy they have aimed at King Charles. 
there is a massive risk at the energy they have made at King Charles. They've done it, you know, guys. There's some energy headed towards King Charles. That's the centre of the reading, what's crossing over them. There's the Nine of Pentacles. They want to look like they have everything Catherine's got. Catherine is her own woman. And as though she has comparisons to Princess Diana, being William's wife, she is the Princess of Wales. Catherine has really made it her own. And I feel this is really irking them. It is really irking them. They want what Catherine's got. The reason they're doing it is they want what Catherine's got. And they think they can get what Catherine's got by tearing down the king and tearing down Catherine. They really believe that they can do that. They really do. The Nine of Pentacles, Catherine can stand on her own. She is her own woman. They have really tried to come for them. And this is what's crossing over. It's the jealousy. And they went for the king as well. Remember, it used to just be one name, one name, and then it's become two. That's because I feel like this is, there was a revelation by Valentine Lowe about recollections may vary, and Catherine actually saying it, not the Queen. It was Catherine's turn of phrase. And that's... So we have the Page of Wands underneath, and we have the wheel. Oh, no, it's the chariot above. They're wanting to shift. They're wanting to shift. Perceptions. They're wanting to try and control the narrative, but we have the Page of Wands underneath. This is a very angry, frustrated game they're playing. It's frustrations. It's not fair. These are all, in the grand scheme of things, minor, very minor, very minor grievances to everybody else. But to them, because they have nothing else, it's a big thing. So they're concocting all this energy because all they do in Montecito, because remember Montecito just work an hour a week. That's been out there. Montecito just work an hour a week. All they do in Montecito is go, oh my God, look at Catherine. No, she's, they just, they're on the Daily Mail, they're in YouTube, they're on Twitter or whatever. They're everywhere watching seeing what people are saying what's under it what's under this massive risk it's not fair and an element i must say of creativity we have the knight of cups in reverse there they didn't like William at the coronation. They, I feel like they've tried sending energy to William. They tried sending energy to William over Singapore. They really wanted that to go wrong. They're going wrong. It's going wrong. And now, now this. Now this. They can't get William. They're going to go for Catherine. They're going to go for the king. If you're going to go for the king, you better not miss. I feel like they've missed. The king looks winded. He looks emotional. He looked emotional when he was um, at the G, whatever it was. He did look emotional. Of 
course, Knight of Cups is William. Now, William is a Cancerian, so he is, of course, would show up in the tarot as Cups. Harry is, of course, a pen Pentacles, Pentacles, a Virgo. So he would show up in the tarot as Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. But we have King of Pentacles here. And it's in reverse. I feel like Harry has a lot more to do with this story. A lot more to do with the story. The King of Wands is there. This energy that sends into the king. Next time you see Harry, you will be able to see it on his face. I feel like Scooby's somewhat involved in this as well. Next time you see it on Harry, he will be wearing that energy. You will see a darkness around him. And I think we can see that somehow now. And I know we go, oh, it's the wife's energy. It's Megan just being, like, energetically jealous. Or da -da -da -da. And that's true. <laughs> I mean, there is that as well. The King of Wands. The man that is known as Marcus Anderson is up to his elbows in all of this. And they're a bit worried. They are a bit worried. It hasn't went according to plan, the energy. And they should be worried because the fool is in reverse at the starting point. The fool is in reverse at the starting point. That's a massive risk. A massive risk. We have got the ace of swords in reverse this book was part of a spell this book was part of an energy working to try and take the king down and here we have the tower and that tower is in reverse this energy is all going to be returned to sender i don't know what they're playing with exactly i imagine it's something like santeria or something similar to that but it's missed its target. They might have, it might have hurt the king. It might physically hurt the king. It might make the king feel like he has had a body blow. But it might upset him. But this is not going to end well for the Harkles for messing with energy. They mess with energy before. They've done it before. And look how far it's got to them. I mean, they've been messing with energy for a long time and they really tried it. They thought after the Queen died that everyone would go, oh, we don't want the monarchy anymore. They really thought that. That's why the coronation such a... They're so focused on that. They really did not like the coronation because it reflected just how inadequate they are, to be honest. Let's have a look at Catherine. Catherine's energy. The Four of Swords is in reverse there. They really want Catherine gone. This is the message they're sending to Catherine. They want rid of Catherine. They hate Catherine. Uh, and I don't use that word lightly. I don't personally, I dislike people. I can go, ooh. But there's no one in my real world life that I would say 
I hated. Not that I still stay in contact with anyway, but you, they hate her. The Four of Swords is in reverse. They want the worst possible outcome for Catherine. The Four of Wands crossing over in reverse. This is where all of the stuff, all of the, all of the tales about Catherine's marriage comes out. Everything comes out They absolutely hate her jealousy is driving them mad now that isn't what's going to be the outcome for Catherine I'm just saying I'm just saying because the energy is returning to sender the tower in reverse is your own doings this isn't a natural act of God this is your own stupid fault has caused this massive pile of your house to fall on your head basically a bit like, <laughs> a bit like, well, I suppose the witch in the Wicked Witch of the West, she just happened to be when the house landed on her. Do you know what I mean? I mean, technically, but it's kind of like that, but you call for it, you know. What's above there? The King of Wands. The King of Wands. The King of Wands. Marcus Anderson. Marcus Anderson is born a uh, Cancerian, but he is born on the cusp. He is born on the cusp between Cancer and Leo. And I think he has more, I think because he's a cusp, I think he's picked up more of the wands traits. So he would come through technically as the King of Cups, but, 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 but he also has a long shadow coming in from the leo i think he's definitely got a lot of fire sign energy in him um he's i wouldn't say he's creative i say he's more of a hustler and that's definitely more fire sign what's underneath it what's driving this spirit they do not like Catherine being called Princess of Wales. They do not like, they inferred that Catherine is as popular as Diana. I would, I'd like to add that I think she's going to be more popular than Diana in the long run. I know that's a hard, I don't want to kind of compare. It's two very different ladies, two very different people, two very different times. But We can see everything what's and all with the internet. Diana didn't have that grace, if you know what I mean. So there would have been a lot of talk about Charles and Diana if the internet had been around in its form now, if we had social media. There would have been there would have been a lot more stuff out there about Diana. I'm just saying it would have been a different it's a completely different times. Harry Megsy for this energy, they don't see that. And the Ace of Cups is in reverse. And Ace of Cups, of course, it's all about spirit. Um, and it's in reverse. They do not like. They are aiming the Emperor there and with the Ace of Cups in reverse there. They really don't like the fact that Catherine gets on with King Charles. They don't like it. This is why they're sending her the worst of the energy. I think King Charles is getting sent energy, but I really feel they're going for Catherine. Hmm. Yeah. The problem that Harry and Megzi and Darkus Anderson and all of those people there, we have got the Seven of Swords and we have the Page of Cups in reverse. What they also want to do is they don't like, of course, Catherine's children. Now, you can really see Diana in Princess Charlotte. You can also see the Queen. You can also see Catherine. But you can really see Diana in Princess Charlotte because you can see William in Princess Charlotte. And I think Charlotte triggers the hell out of Montecito. 
really does. The Seven of Swords, they will try and defeat. They are any means necessary, any means necessary to bring down what they see as their rivals. Any means necessary. But they're going to get put on the outside. They are going to get put on the outside. Interesting enough, we have got the seven of pentacles there, seven of coins and the five of coins. The five of coins is the classic Mexit card. They are going to become further on the outside with this and then they're going to try and go i'm going to get a clarifier for the seven of pentacles but the five of pentacles poof, that is yeah they're, they're toast they are toast they really are toast They are going to have further grievances. Um, they are going to have to sit on money and watch it grow. Th something is happening. The king of pentacles is in reverse. So that is Harry in reverse. Basically, it's all the negative aspects there. And justice is in reverse. So they're going to feel hard done by. They're going to feel like they are timed out. They, For their money-wise, financially... They're getting to a place where they will not be able to earn money because they will be seen as toxic. So there's going to be a time when that tower, around the time of this tower in reverse here, that all the energy coming out, they are also going to have difficulty with their finances as well. I feel like all of this energy that they're sending into Catherine and king charles it's bouncing back to them because harry comes unstuck next year the tower in reverse they have a massive tower moment next year now this is the start of it it is unraveling i've said this before and i will say it again there was two slow implosions this year well two implosions this year the first one was the fastest implosion ever known to man, and that, God bless them, was the Ocean Gate sub at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean next to the Titanic. Then, and again, that was that was pure ego that that happened. And this again is pure ego, ego, but it is the slowest implosion known to man in 2023 we're probably going to it's probably going to drag on till 2024 but there there is there is a defining line here they are out they have wished the absolute worst on to catherine they really have with the four of swords in reverse they really have there's a jealousy there there's a jealousy of her proximity to princess diana that of course the spirit card is in reverse the king of wands here we've got scooby we've got um darkest anderson we know there's a link there we know there's a link there and the page of cups in reverse there they're coming for the whales as children i use the page of cups for the whales as children because george is a cancerian and cups relate to the water signs of course so that is what i see in the cards let me know if you see anything different let me know if there's any readings you would like me to do um if you've managed to make it this far please leave a blue heart or an archangel michael in the chat we'll keep coming back to saying some prayers for catherine and for the king there is an official prayer book you can do from the Church of England as well. I know some of you aren't necessarily Anglican or some of you aren't Christian. It, it'll it work, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'll, I'll dig them out. So um, thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in a bit. Bye, everyone.